Well, tonight across Western New York, people are kicking off St. Patrick's Day weekend and some landmarks are wearing their green to celebrate. Buildings like the Electric Tower in downtown Buffalo and Niagara Falls are all lit up in green for the holiday. And tonight, maybe you're watching us from an Irish pub. Possibly, or maybe you're planning to watch or march in a St. Patrick's Day parade this weekend. Tonight, join your sides, Keelan Berry, and stop by some very popular restaurants, bars, and holiday events to find out how Western New Yorkers are celebrating. Hello there, Keelan. Hey, Scott and Mary Alice. Yes, there's a lot of high energy going into the St. Patrick's Day weekend. And you know, the weather wasn't the best to start with celebrations, but that didn't stop anyone because all they did was grab themselves a hat like this one here, and they took to the streets to start partying. It's the start of the St. Patrick's Day weekend. People from the community, young and old, came out in their green, whether it was worn on their backs, hanging from their necks or sitting on their head. How are you liking our hats, Terry? Uh, nice, very nice. Enjoying another year celebrating their Irish heritage. At Niagara Falls Convention Center, we ran into the Grand Marshal of this year's World Shortage Parade, Bob Gideon. It's a great uh, celebration of Irish culture and um, camaraderie and um, you know, welcome everybody to come and have a good time. You know how it is, everybody's Irish in St. Patrick's Day. A great reason to come out and join the 39th annual largest St. Patrick's Day celebration in Western New York. I'm having a lot of fun. Hey, check out CJ's cool hat. We've had this for years. My mother actually bought it for me when I was like a kid in school. And despite the gloomy weather, Gabriel's Gate stayed packed. <laughs> Food orders were rushing in, servers stayed busy on the go, and the front door was always swinging open. It's a great day in the restaurant business for co-owner John Hall. Oh, it's a great boost. Um, we're pretty consistent, but St. Patrick's Day has always been very popular, and especially with the parade so close on Delaware Avenue. The celebration also brought out out-of-towners into the Queen City, just so they can feel Irish for the day. Yeah. Is Buffalo showing up, for, you know, for the St. Patrick's Day? Oh, yeah, I home? love it. Yeah, I'm not even Irish, and I love it. <laughs> So, yes, you can definitely see everyone enjoying the St. Patrick's Day holiday in their own certain special way. And, you know, make sure you go out here and you have fun this weekend. But most importantly, stay safe. And Channel 2 hopes to see you enjoying the parade downtown this Sunday because you will see a few of us out there. <laughs> but reporting in Buffalo, Keelan Berry in Channel 2 News. Good advice, Keelan. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. And if you are driving around the city, make sure you are aware of some road closures because of the holiday parades happening over the weekend. Tomorrow, portions of Letty Street, South Park Avenue, Smith Street, Elk Street, Hamburg Street, South Street, and Louisiana Street will be closed for the Old Neighborhood Parade or Valley Community Parade. Those road closures, they're going to be in place from 1030 in the morning until 3 in the afternoon. And on Sunday for the St. Patrick's Day Parade in downtown Buffalo, Niagara Square will be closed and Delaware Avenue from Niagara Square to North Street will be closed from noon until 4 p.m.